I could eat noodles every single day. Lemonilo ramen is all natural, baked and not fried. My favorite one is chicken chow mein, which is made with spinach and leek. So the color you see here is all natural with no artificial colors or flavors. And here's how easy it is to make this. Boil the noodles according to the package. Put the seasoning packets into a bowl. I like to add a little water to dilute it. Drain the noodles and mix with the sauce. I added some baby bok choy and a crispy fried egg, then topped it off with some crispy garlic and the chili powder. You can purchase Lemonilo Ramen on Amazon. This is my favorite cup of noodle hat. Sriracha, poison, chili oil, garlic oil, splash of vinegar, cilantro, pinch of sugar, and a hard boiled egg. The garlic oil and the chili oil recipe is posted on my page. Try this chicken adobo recipe. I'm using two pounds of chicken thighs. Make the sauce with a quarter cup of soy sauce, quarter cup of rice vinegar, two tablespoons of brown sugar, one tablespoon of minced garlic, and some black pepper. Pour half the sauce over the chicken and let it sit for 30 minutes. In a skillet, cook half an onion and one tablespoon of garlic. Add two tablespoons of oil and cook the chicken with the skin side down for five minutes and then flip it over. Pour in the rest of the sauce, cover, and simmer for 25 minutes. Remove the lid and cook on medium heat for another 15 minutes or until the sauce reduces. Try my air fryer barbecue pork recipe. The pork turned out so juicy and tender. You're gonna need two pounds of pork shoulder, half a cup of char siu sauce, three tablespoons each of oyster sauce and dark soy sauce, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and five spice powder. Let this marinate for four hours, but overnight is best. Air fry at 375 degrees for 20 minutes and then flip it over and baste with honey. Then cook it for another 20 minutes. The honey adds a nice glaze and it makes it sweet and sticky. Have you ever tried spicy rice cake skewers before? They're so easy to make. Blanch the rice cakes in hot water for two minutes and then drain it and wash it with cold water. Add one tablespoon of oil and fry on each side for two minutes. Set aside and make your sauce. Add one and a half tablespoons of gochujang, one tablespoon soy sauce, honey, and mirin, and a teaspoon of sesame oil and brown sugar. Cook on medium heat for three to four minutes. Brush the sauce all over the rice cakes and top with some sesame seeds and green onions. Topoki is one of my favorite Korean street foods. This recipe is so delicious and easy to make. You'll need one cup of water, one tablespoon of gochujang, one teaspoon of Korean pepper flakes, one tablespoon of sugar, and one tablespoon of soy sauce. Add two cups of rice cakes and cook on medium heat for five minutes. Add thinly sliced fish cakes and cook for another four minutes. Top with some green onions and mozzarella cheese and cover with the lid for one minute until the cheese melts. Save this recipe for my sweet and tangy chicken. For this recipe, I'm gonna be using chicken thighs. Make the sauce with six tablespoons of oyster sauce, two tablespoons of brown sugar, four tablespoons of ketchup, three tablespoons of soy sauce, juice from half a lemon, a tablespoon of minced garlic, and mix together. Heat up one tablespoon of oil and cook the chicken thighs with the skin side down. Once crispy, turn it over and then drain off the excess oil. Add in the sauce mix and a quarter cup of water. Cover and simmer for 20 minutes. Remove the lid, cook on medium high heat for another 10 minutes. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to make tuna mayo onigiri. You'll need steamed rice and furikake seasoning. Drain one can of tuna and add three tablespoons of mayo, one tablespoon of sriracha, and a splash of soy sauce. You can shape these by hand, but I find that a mold is easier. Start by layering the bottom with some rice and then add one tablespoon of the tuna and then another layer of rice. Then gently press it together. Cut the seaweed into small strips and put on the bottom half of the rice. That was pretty easy, right? How to make fried rice in a rice cooker. Wash and soak two cups of rice for 30 minutes. Chop one cup of carrot, mushroom, potatoes, and three Tejo sausages. Cook the sausages in two tablespoons of oil for two minutes and add the vegetables. Season with two tablespoons of dark and light soy sauce, three tablespoons of oyster sauce, black pepper, and cook for two minutes. Pour in one and three quarter cups of water or chicken stock and three cloves of minced garlic. Let it come to a boil and transfer to a rice cooker. Add in the drained rice and four eggs. Cook the rice and mix together. Visit Tejo's website for details to earn $50 towards your purchase. This is how you elevate cup of noodles. You need a tablespoon of gochujang, a teaspoon of sesame oil, two teaspoons soy sauce, one tablespoon mirin, tablespoon sugar, sesame seeds, tablespoon of garlic, sliced pork belly, half a cup of kimchi, chopped cabbage, onions, and red peppers. Stir fry this in a tablespoon of oil for five to six minutes. In the meantime, make your cup of noodles and drain out the soup. Add the noodles back into the stir fry and mix for a minute. Serve this in the instant noodle cup because it's more fun to eat that way. Top it with a fried egg and some furikake seasonings.